Hello everybody, um, it's me Kelly and it's my first day back teaching uh, for the semester and I'm in the car again doing one of my healthy eating videos that I know you've all missed so much. I never know where to look, never know where this goddamn camera is. Um, so hopefully this comes out okay and I'm looking in the right place because I look like a total idiot right now. But anyway, um, I don't really have anything to report today as far as weird food that I've been eating. I have lost weight. I had, it's been going well, um, you know, but um, I do want to talk today. I have no crazy foods that I'm eating today because it's the first day and I was running late. Um, so, but I do want to talk about uh, something that disturbs me greatly in life, and that is what other people eat. Um, and specifically speaking, I'm talking about people who eat fruit in public places. Uh, people eat, who eat fruit on the subway in New York City and they don't cut it up. Certain fruits should be cut into cubes and eaten like a human being and not like a monster. But people eat them on the subway and it grosses me out. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm talking about. So the first one is the apple. This is the biggest offender. People eating apples are all over the place in the New York City subway systems and in the streets of New York just eating their friggin' apple like maniacs. They eat it like a maniac. First of all, they put a napkin under it and they hold it in their hand like this which is weird. And they put a napkin, I don't know what that napkin is supposed to be doing, but it's doing shit. It's not doing anything, okay? What's that napkin for? You don't need it. It just looks dumb. And then they do this weird spinny thing with the apple and they eat it in this convoluted, twisty way that makes absolutely, what the, what is that? You cookie monster. They're attacking the apple and they're spinning it in all these weird friggin' directions. And the spit, it's all down their chin. It's all wet right here. It's not an attractive look. And there's crunching happening that shouldn't, you shouldn't hear these sounds in a public arena. They're doing, what? Why? Why is this necessary in life? I'm still, I'm still looking in the wrong place. Um, so yeah, that's, that's not good. The second one is the peach. The peach I find offensive. Um, I think this is uh, for obvious reasons, but if you can't figure it out, you know, when you're eating a peach, it's like all nasty and wet and gross and there's drippings on your chin and there's things happening that shouldn't be happening and there's, there's glistening. You're glistening in your chin area and, you know, without being graphic, it looks like something you should be doing in the privacy of your bedroom. That's all I'm going to say. So. Let's stop with the peach eating in public. Again, cut it up. Cut it into little pieces like you're a baby, okay? Put it in a container of Tupperware and be a human being. It's all I'm asking. Um, bananas. This one is also obvious. It's very phallic. If you're a woman and a man is eating, is if you're a woman and a man is watching you eat a banana, there's one thing he's thinking about, okay? You're peeling it and then you're eating it. Yeah, that, 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 that's what's happening in his head. If you're a man and you're eating a banana, we're thinking about it too, okay? Um, now, if you're a man and you're eating a banana and you're wearing a suit and you have a briefcase and you're talking about stock options and shit, yeah, nobody's taking you seriously because you're eating a banana. You're eating a banana. You look like a silly person, okay? The last one, or second to last one, is blueberries. Blueberries I find offensive because um, they're blue. So, first of all, your tongue area, your entire tongue and your lips and your inside of your mouth is blue. So that's, you look like a smurf, all right? Stop it with the blueberry eating. I saw a guy on the subway the other day eating blueberries like he was popping M&Ms or popcorn. He had a freaking pint of them and he was just like, <laughs> one after another, <laughs> what is that? Really, or is it a race? You know, are we, what is happening? <laughs> They're not going anywhere, calm the fuck down. <sighs> I'm very angry today. Um, Watermelon is my last one. This should be eaten at picnics, outdoors. That's when you have the big watermelon wedge, you know? That's acceptable, that's fine, I get it, you know, it's fine. But not on the subway. Why are you breaking out an entire wedge of watermelon on the subway? I saw somebody with a watermelon, a half a watermelon, and she had a spoon, and she's going at it like this. <laughs> on the sub, people, people, you're maniacs. You're maniacs. And stop with 
I have a whole other video. I can do a whole other video about the offensive smelling food on the subway with the Chinese food and the Korean food and the Indian food and the whatever the hell you're eating and the, ugh, the smells and the gross, ugh, the curry and the, why, why? Buffalo wings. Who's eating buffalo wings on the subway? Stop it. Stop it. Go home, sit at your table, sit at your dining rooms and eat like human beings, all right? Eat like human beings. The only acceptable fruit I would say to eat in public would be grapes. Grapes. They're little, they're not hurting anybody, all right? Let's all eat grapes. Great. Talk to you next time. Bye.